guys, this production music live with another tutorial and this is also part of our EQ tutorial series. Today we are going to uh, clone the spectrum of a commercial track and apply it to our own mix down. So that's basically the concept of matching EQ. Maybe you know the problem. So you made this project and you try to make it sound like a commercial artist and you use the same instruments, you use the same bass line or drum samples, but it still doesn't sound as, as full and, and powerful as the commercial track. So we could try to analyze the commercial spectrum and try to match it on our track. And there are several EQ plugins capable of doing that and one of them is the Fab Filter. So the Fab Filter Pro Q is very versatile. You can use it for many things, but you can also use it for spectrum cloning or matching. So let's try to set this up. I have this track over here. I try to make it sound a little bit like this track down here. It's a commercial track. And I'm going to quickly play the commercial track. Just a couple of bars. I'm trying to replicate this feel. Well, I, I took different notes. I'm not playing the same notes. I'm not playing the same harmonics, but I'm trying to play the same style and I'm trying to get the sound of the frequencies and the master as close as possible to that track down there. So mine sounds like this at the moment. Now let's set this up. I have this for playback and I have this for input. Um, why, why am I doing that? Um, because I need to send this audio information into my Pro-Q and analyze it. So external in, but we are sending it to our track, to this track now. That's the output of the input channel. And I'm telling it to select the stereo side chain fab filter Pro-Q2. Now it's kind of plugged into this plugin. The next step is select Analyzer down here and click on EQ Match. Clicking the EQ Match button will invoke EQ Match mode. That's what it says over there. And now it's going to calculate the difference in the frequency curve of that track and try to put in, like fill the holes and also subtract stuff where it's not needed. So we are trying to get the mix down of our track closer to the mix down of the input track. And for that to happen, I need to play back this track because if I don't play back the track, it doesn't know what difference to calculate. EQ match mode. Um, you need to make sure both are on play over here. Both are playing audio. Run audio through the plugin to start. You can make sure that plugin and sidechain input are connected and receiving audio. Both are connected and now they are receiving audio and now we can play back this track. And you see it's starting to analyze already and now we can analyze it a little bit. And the next thing we can do is we match it. So we put in the match over here. See, it kind of cut out those frequencies and it cut out higher frequencies, but it's adding in things over here. And we can drag the slider to adjust the number of bands used to approximate the measured difference curve. So we can use more bands, actually. Why not? Let's use more bands and see if we are getting it more detailed towards the sound of the other sound. And once we are satisfied with our result, with the spectrum analysis and the calculated difference, we can finish and log in those settings. But now we could have the feeling that it's applying too much of it. So we could go ahead and go down here and say, um, well, you know, we don't want to change it 
that much or 100% of that effect we want maybe only well 70% of the gain scale <laughs> So you see you can play around with that as well. Like the main difference appears to be between the commercial track and our track seems to be that there's a lot less over here. But that could also be due to the fact that the quality of that audio is pretty bad. So you should make sure you have um, a perfect audio file of a commercial track, maybe a lossless one, uh, and then go ahead and apply this spectrum analysis, calculate the difference and match it and then see how much you're actually going to apply of those changes. I hope you get the concept of this matching and uh, spectrum cloning with Pro-Q by FabFilter. The Ableton uh, equalizer is not able of doing that, uh, that's why I use this third party plugin over here. If you like this tutorial, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, post them below and I hope to see you next time.